Cornell 4-0 against teams from the Atlantic 10 a year ago, trying to keep that trend alive this season as they welcome Jeff Foote's old team St. Bonaventure into Newman Arena. Early on, it's preseason first team A-10 pick Andrew Nicholson cleaning up the mess with a nice putback. Nicholson had two quick baskets and will get the Bonnies off to a quick 4-0 lead. Chris Robleski, back from injury and making the first start of his season, had a lot of catching up to do. Robleski knocking down an early triple, and then a few plays later, connecting on the mid-range J. Robleski had 11 of Cornell's first 13 points. But Demetrius Conger splitting the Cornell defense like a hot knife through butter, getting the easy bucket. More on Conger's huge night later. In the play of the half, Miles Asafoa J showing why he's known as a defensive stopper. Coming up with the steal, turning on the Jets, gets the bucket and the foul. He would complete the three-point play, giving Cornell a late first half lead. The Big Red would take a two-point advantage into the locker room at the break. Early in the second half, it's more of the same from Cornell. The Big Red shot 46% from behind the arc in this one. And here, Chris Robleski on a broken play, knocking down the long-range J. He had a career-high 25. Robleski not the only one stroking it from downtown. On Cornell's next offensive possession, Max Grobe eyes up a deep one and knocks it down, giving Cornell a six-point advantage. Even with Nicholson on the bench with four fouls, St. Bonaventure continued to stay tough. The Bonnies with 14 offensive rebounds on the night, one here by Conker with the putback. He had 14 rebounds in the game and a career-high 22 points to go along with it. Later, in what Coach Courtney tabbed the most crucial play of the game, St. Bonaventure trying to make something happen down the stretch. Can't connect in the paint, but coming up with not one, not two, but that's right, three offensive rebounds and able to reset a new offensive possession. Coach, what happened in that? So we switched to the zone. Uh, they forced him to miss the shot. We knew they would miss the shot, and all we said in the timeout was come up with a rebound. We said they're going to miss the shot, come up with a rebound. And we didn't, we weren't hungry enough to go get that ball. The team too many opportunities and they're gonna hurt you. Demetrius Conger with only St. Bonaventure's second three-pointer of the night, putting the Bonnies up by one with under a minute to go. Cornell desperate to get back into this one, down four with 10 seconds left. Max Grove heaving one up, a triple doinker, but it goes down. St. Bonaventure would stay true from the line, but Cornell would have one last chance. Down two with 3.3 seconds left. Cornell gets the ball into Robleski's hands, going for the win but can't get it to fall. A tough loss for the Big Red, dropping 56 to 54 in Newman Arena and going to two and two on the year. The number one key in our on our board in our scout report, all we talked about was rebound because we knew if we could keep them off the glass and eliminate second opportunities, uh, you know we'd have a good chance to win the game no matter what we did on the offensive end. Now, we didn't play well offensively, but uh, it's hard to lose when you know you didn't do the things that you wanted to do. We just got to execute better. And, uh, rebounding just killed us. They got so many second chance opportunities. And um, that's that uh, Arrow and Wire and Curry worked their you know, tails off down there. I think the guards had to do a much better job um, blocking their guys out and helping out. I just think that you know, we went after it. And that was something that we've been emphasizing um, and something that we knew if we were going to win, we had to defend and rebound. Um, and our guys did a tremendous job. They, they, they just kept on going, and they had a good motor tonight, and that's what we need. With St. Bonaventure out rebounding Cornell by 20, attempting 21 more free throws, and limiting the Big Reds to just four points in the paint, it's surprising that this game was as close as it was. Cornell looks to get back on the right foot as they travel to Patriot League foe Lehigh on Monday. Reporting from Newman Arena in Ithaca, New York, I'm Jake Massbaum, Slope TV.